this is what you call a pitch plow, is what the style is. Um, so what that means is it just sits there and to change your elevation, so it's rear height well towards the back, it just pitches the plow as you're going, and that's what's changing both your elevation and as you're running from your grade as you're going along. There's a number of different plows like this on the market. Uh, we went with Soil Max initially uh, because uh, we had a, a New York State dealer. Um, not many of the other manufacturers have dealers locally um, or even in the state. This is GPS controlled, so you'll see there's a receiver above the plow point. It's a little globe there on the top. So that's getting a, uh, a signal and it's tied right to the monitor that I can look at in the cab. Before you pull or run, you always run a survey. Um, obviously, you run your survey to make sure you, you have the slope and you can do it and have the depth you want. You'll see there's a tripod set on that hill. That's also a GPS receiver. And what that does is that's providing a correction point, a fixed point correction to that to, for increased accuracy. So having a base station in the field for your correction cuts down in any type of error uh, that you could have in that scenario. Well, you do have to be careful about ground speed. Um, you get a big tractor, this tractor is roughly 350 horse. Uh, it will pull it pretty well, but you don't want to go and pull your pile uh, five miles an hour. You might never see it digging in the trench and do it the old school way, but you can stretch this tile pretty significantly if you're not careful. So the key is obviously getting off going smoothly and keeping your ground speed down. So when I'm running it, it's called an auto tile feature. So you run your survey, you come back, you can pull it up, you say you're going to install it, it goes through the menu. If it's doable, it, it'll tell you if there's an error or a spot that you can't do, if you don't have enough depth or you can't continue at the slope you want. So if that happens, then obviously I have to figure out a different way to outlet. But if it all looks fine and it says you can do it, and you have the right depth for your starting point, you do what's happening right here, you're back in into the trench, ready to go. Once you're ready to start pulling and going, you hit this, you start your install. And then basically it's pretty hands-free, unless if you're, if you're steering, you've got the steer out a little bit. But as far as controlling the actual pitch of the plow and everything, I'm not doing any of that. Basically what you're doing is making sure you're following the same path and then keeping an eye on your water level and then your depth change. Um, very few times, uh, normally it'd be interference. I have had it happen only twice with the base station we're running now. And typically it's like if you're really, really tight against a hedgerow where you might lose signal to have something funky happen. Typically, it's just a good reference to check as you're going and looking back. So you have your uh, depth chain, and I have, I have markers on there. This is an old ear tag, a three-foot mark. Water level, obviously. There's more water in the back than the front. That means it's, it's golden. Typically, uh, you'll lay your tile starting at the outlet, pulling to where you're going. On your outlet, you really want about a foot of drop from your pipe to your your normal water level, which I don't quite have here, but I'm gonna, I have a plan to, to improve this. You really want two feet of cover over your pipe to protect it from machinery. I'm out in the woods here, uh, so I got deer and rabbit running over this, so I'm not too concerned about it. I may bring a brush hog down here to keep this clear. Uh, so, I don't have the cover over here that I really want, okay, but um, what I'm going to do is bring my backhoe down here and excavate this soil out and put it on top of the pipe. So I'm making my drop deeper and then I'm putting more cover on my pipe so it's protected a little bit better. Now the other thing is, when what, if we get an inch or two rain, when I start praying for rain and it rains and it doesn't stop, Okay, we're going to get a lot of water on the field, and where's the, where's the surface water going to go? Right down here, okay, so 
in a way this is not the ideal spot because it's right where the surface water is running and there's a, a danger of that surface water eroding out this trench and eroding out my pipe. So when I backfill this, I should really mound up the dirt over the pipe so that surface water goes around it.